Hi guys, happy Vlogmas. Guess what? I've had so many requests for blue dresses and old school blue dresses. Do you guys remember this one? Obviously I'm wearing a bra for the sake of YouTube, but this one you don't wear a bra. This is one of the, for the OGs, people who've been around forever, you probably remember this blue dress. Back in the day, I used to get dresses, just cute dresses like this when I was working out all the time and just show you. And I started doing fashion shows and workout videos. Well, it's kind of a full circle moment this year. I'm kind of back doing exactly what, I, what I've been doing, what I was doing kind of when I first started working out, trying on dresses. So I thought it'd be kind of fun to bring in the 2023 with the old dresses. Do you guys remember this dress? Does anybody remember this dress? Obviously you don't wear a bra, you could just wear it natural or uh, a half of a bra, but I kind of think it kind of gives it a cool little look, right? So let me show you. Blue for my blue eyes. Okay, so this is short and it's just slip it on and then I paired it with these like, diamond tights and these really cute uh, velvet slip-on kind of booty high heels with a clear heel. I think it's really cute for this look, especially this time of year as we're in the holiday season and we're just feeling ourselves. We're wanting to have sparkly. So if your dress doesn't have any sparkle in it, this is a great way. I don't know if this camera does it justice, but they're black with like silver sparkles and I thought that would be good and it's got this built-in necklace. Isn't that pretty? A built-in necklace. So really this would be a pretty great showstopper for a party. Let me show you the back. You guys remember this? Tell me who remembers this. I hope there's somebody still watching me that remembers this dress. You know, I've gotten rid of a lot of things over the years, but some of my favorite little dresses and things I started with, I kept and I'm so glad because I never dreamed that I would be doing a fashion show in my kitchen, full circle moment of stuff I used to post right when I started. And uh, now that I'm working out again and wanting to better my life, I'm single, I'm living my best life and I'm just showing you how I'm doing it. I thought this would be appropriate. So let's go to the next one. You guys, this is really a full circle moment for me. I used to dress like this all the time. Tell me why, if I used to dress like this all the time and I worked out, why didn't I know that I was sexy? Why didn't I know that I was pretty? Can anybody explain? Sometimes people just don't know. If nobody around you ever says anything about you, if they just look at you and go, oh yeah, she's up to her old shenanigans again and moms shouldn't dress like that then you just kind of feel rejected and sad and lonely. And that's, that's kind of how I felt my whole marriage. I just felt, I don't know how to describe it. And I'm not looking back at the past and missing it at all. Somebody said that last time. No, I'm looking back at the past and I'm thinking about how much I've grown. And I'm so proud of myself for not giving up on my dreams, for not giving up on Ursula, for moving forward, wearing these fun dresses at any age just because I want to. Everybody gets to do whatever they want to do. You see, I've always had really thick thighs. I've always had a really big booty. And I never knew it was popular to have this. I never knew anybody would like this about me. And now full circle moment, this is what I do for a living. Do you understand 
what that means to me, that I took the courage way back when, when I had zero money, I turned on a camera, I started working out in front of people I didn't know, strangers on the internet. I started wearing clothes like this to show you my results, to show you that my legs, to show you that anything is possible if you do the work. And now, how many years later, I'm still here. I'm still here, you guys. Do you understand? I had breast cancer in my 40s. I could have died, but I'm still here. I have a smaller boob and a bigger one on this side, but I still have my boobs. Do you understand? I still have my life. I want these videos to be inspiring to all of you. Yeah, you can think I'm hot. You can think I'm fabulous. Thank you. I appreciate that. That's just a bonus. But I also want you to know that I'm a real woman that has went through real trials and real life stuff. And I'm still here fighting for my health, fighting for my life fighting to inspire all of you out there in the world to do better, to love yourself from the inside out. Yeah, I may have a little bit more curves right here, you know? I may have a little bit more right there, but you know what, I've earned it. I'm still alive. I'm still alive. So, I guess I'm just in this inspiring mood lately, and so you're going to get a lot of inspiration, so I hope you're ready. I hope you're ready. That's all I can say. This one, this is just a pretty blue dress. You wanted blue for the Vlogmas? Okay, here you go. Should I go through every single one of my dresses in there and see if everything still fits. And I promise you it will because it's stretchy material. You see, women, that's the key. When you've got a lot of curves like this, and like you do, you gotta have the stretchy material. And then it'll always fit. The only difference is you're gonna keep looking better in your clothes as long as you keep working on your body, keep tightening up your body, keep eating good foods for your body, do great things for yourself. I mean, look at this. <sighs> for me, it's like, I'm so happy that I get to make these videos for all of you. So very, very happy. It means the world to me. But I'm still here and I'm still entertaining and I'm still making videos, fashion shows for you. I love fashion. I love clothes. Back in the day, I would say, I just want a closet to where all my friends and all my family could just come over and whatever they needed for any event or any occasion, they could just come and get it and then just keep it. And that's my donation to you. And I've been able to do that. Some want to keep them, some don't. But the main thing is that I have that. Whatever we want in life, all we have to do is say it and profess it and believe it. And it'll come true. So whatever you want in life, say it, believe it, and take the action steps. And it will come to you. Whatever it is. Do you see I have the different styles for the different events? Like, uh, this is another short one, but I could wear it to, I don't know, like a date night. This probably would be a good date night dress, right? A 
date night dress. It's probably would be the plan for this one, but it's so comfortable. It's so stretchy. And do you see how these black sparkly silver nylons just give a solid dress, just kind of, kind of give it some, um, what's the word? Some sexy, some, I see a girl, kind of decorate your thighs. And then with this, you could just add uh, whatever necklace you want and just rock it, right? You can just rock this look wherever you're going. And again, blue is a hot color. You don't have to wear just red over the holidays. I love red over the Christmas because I hardly ever wear red. So it's just kind of a thing I do over the holidays um, because I don't usually wear red. I usually am in stuff like this. I'm usually in blues and oranges and lots of color. I've learned to color my body with the colors I love. And then wherever I go, I'm more presentable, I'm more approachable, I'm brighter, my light shines brighter, I'm not dark and dringy with just blacks where I'm just like trying to pretend that I'm five, five pounds less than I am. Who cares? If you take care of yourself, you eat good, you you, if you want to have a holiday dinner, do it like I did. I mean, whatever. But then live your life. Just live your life and be happy. See how the flowy sleeves just, this would be perfect for like a holiday vacation. You know, just perfect. Show your thighs, show your curves. Um, kind of has this wrap around thing. So just kind of hides whatever you may have going on right there. Just kind of hides it. It's beautiful. Okay, there's this one. Now this one really shows off the curves. This one you have to really be careful because this twist can be like twist over too much here and then can show that part. So make sure you keep it on the side. But suck it in, wear your nylons, go to that club, go to that party and rock it at any age. You guys, we no longer have to worry about aging, right? Take care of yourself and just live your best life. Who cares what age you are? I'm just realizing right now, who cares? I fixated on that. From the time I hit 50, I got obsessed and it almost made me sick. I was like, oh my God, I'm 50 now. What does that mean? Am I, am I irrelevant? Am I going to shrivel up and die? What's this mean? I didn't know. We don't know. We just think, well, just allow me to tell you, I haven't shriveled up and everything works great. I promise you that. And I can still work out, and I still have stamina, and everything is still lifted because I work it out. So if you do have a big butt, you want to make sure that you work out. This is all natural, so I just get in there in the gym, and I, I make it happen. Is my stomach where I want it to be? No. But... Every day, it's a new day, and I get to reinvent myself. So every day I go in there into the gym, and I'm just like, I got this. I used to be really good at this. I used to be really strong. Why do I stop? I don't know, but I don't want to stop anymore. I want to keep going forward, and I want to keep bettering myself. Why am I posting these videos of these old school dresses? So that everybody out there can get the encouragement they need to better themselves, to make their life amazing. Yeah, I know it's not everything to show off your skin and wear tight dresses, but for me, it's always been important to me. So if it's important to you, I encourage you to work on yourself and do it too. 
It's always been important to me. It really has. I've always wanted to be healthy. I've always wanted to be fit. I've always wanted my curves to be tight and natural. And that's what I'm achieving at my age. Uh, I just, I'm just doing my best like anybody else to achieve my goals that I set out for myself. But one thing I know for sure is money can't make you healthy. Uh, career can't make you healthy. Getting your food in your, the right food in your body and exercising is the only thing that can help you get to your goals. So there's a million kerzillion diets out there and our bodies are so different that you just have to find out what works best for you. And what one works for somebody may not work for the other. And look at my arms, I still got work. But I am, I am convinced that I am gonna tighten these bad boys up and they're just gonna be tight. So what if they're big? They're just gonna be tight. And I'm gonna leave them as they are and we'll see what happens. Yeah, do I do work on my face? course that's the first thing everybody sees but on my body yeah I do the work in the gym so figure out your priorities and make yourself better daily ladies and gentlemen these are the kind of dresses you can't hide in this shows every last curve you own baby and it's got the buttons do you guys remember this dress I'm so glad I kept all these dresses. I've gotten rid of a lot over the years, but somehow I was able to keep the most of the dresses. I'm so grateful for that because you never know when there's gonna be a time that you wanna put on one of the old school dresses. You, you guys, I could rock these to this day. This fashion would still be okay. They're making the same stuff. Don't let them fool you into thinking you have to buy all the name brand stuff. No, I, I would rock every one of these dresses today at any party and I'd be okay. Do you think anybody would mind? I don't think so. So this is what I'm telling you. If you find your dresses that you love, keep them in your closet and rock them. Would you guys mind if I came to the party like this? I mean, do you care what name brand it says? Do you care what, what label it has on it? I've never looked at labels in my life, ever. And I'm still here. And I bet you what, I bet you, I bet you I've saved a whole lot of money by doing that, by living that way instead of paying a thousand dollars for a dress or some crazy thing. Now, if you do that and you love that lifestyle, then by all means, but my lifestyle is not accommodating for that. I have to, my goal is to pay my house off and have investment properties. I'd rather do that and have my money make my money than just have a thousand dollar dress sitting in my closet because it has a name brand, making somebody else rich. That's how I roll. So maybe I look like a high maintenance chick, but really not, because I do everything myself, my makeup, my hair, my clothes, my fashion, my video, and I do it all myself. Do you know how much money I save by not having a manager, by not having a video person? I save a shit ton of money by doing everything myself. And so it's a lot of work, but what else do I got to do? I'm single, right? What else do I got to do? That's the way I look at it. I'd rather have my money make my money. I'd rather have my money in investment properties. I'd rather have a second home. I'd rather have this house paid off. I'd rather have the vehicles I drive in my garage paid off. So. Why do I give you so much wisdom when I do fashion shows? I don't know. I have two more to go. I hope you learn things. You guys, this blue velvet dress. What? I didn't even remember I had this. Do you remember the velvet dresses were popular? And I think I bought the velvet dresses in every color for the holidays. You guys, do you understand that I wear these one time and I take pictures in them? 
and then I put them in my closet and then I forget about them unless there's something I need to do with this blue dress. But what do you think? It's got plenty enough room. It shows the hourglass figure. The goal is to show the hourglass figure, right ladies? Shows the booty, makes the booty pop. Show the heels. I mean, shows the nylons. I just took these one boot, booty things and these one pair of nylons and I made several outfits and these hoop earrings. Let me know which one's your favorite. If you could just feel this. Whenever I wear velvet, can you see the color? Does the color do it justice in the camera? It's like this royal blue. Oh, it's so pretty. Can you see it? It's like a royal blue. Oh, so pretty. Okay, last but not least, I've got one more blue dress that was a favorite that I did, I believe, on my patio out at my old house by the pool in the summertime. I'm bringing her back. Okay, in my opinion, last but not least, this dress has been to Vegas. This dress has been at my last house. This dress probably has been to Mexico. This dress has seen me through so many vacations and so many fun pool parties. This dress says, hi, this gets your attention, right? This just, this just says, hello. I don't, you don't even have to say anything. Just walk into the room. That's what this dress says. It's got these peekaboo side, or oh, front, of course, and then it's got the peekaboo sides, and it's flowy. So everything just is flowy. So on the beach, you know how the wind is flowing? Ah, oh, it's so beautiful, magical. That's what this dress is on the beach. It's flowy and magical. So I hope this inspired you to look in your closet, dress according to how you feel. There is no reason not to look and feel sexy at any age. I'm single. I do it. When I was married, I did it. When I was in relationships, I did it. I don't dress for the other person. I dress for me. And it just so happens that I like sexy styles. I like to wear nylons. I like to wear heels. And I like to look hot. I like people to take a second look and say, oh, who's that lady in blue? <laughs> anyway. I love you for watching. I love you for watching this vlog, miss. And I'm just gonna keep bringing you videos more and more and more. And in the comments below, let me know what your favorites were. Uh, also, let me know what else you wanna see during vlogmas because I'm after all, I'm here for you, right? So, see you soon.